Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. When former NFL offensive lineman and current media personality Ross Tucker appeared on 93.7 The Fans' morning show Friday to discuss all things Steelers, I didn't quite expect the even-keeled, level-headed analyst to make much news. Ross Tucker is very good at what he does. Instead... Tucker seemingly flipped Pittsburgh on its head by taking a bit of a shot at second-year running back Najee Harris, stating that he didn't see anything special, his words, not mine, from the Steelers' star as a rookie, and doesn't believe he'll ever be a top-five running back during his career. Well then. Of course, Harris set the Steelers' all-time single-season rushing record for a rookie last year in rushing for 1,200 yards and also finished fourth in the NFL in rushing last season. Tucker also stated he doesn't see the explosiveness or rare power from Harris, and is concerned he doesn't make defenders miss. As I've said, Tucker is very good at his job. Personally, I'm a big fan of what Ross does daily with his podcast. But he just missed on this take with Harris, and sometimes that happens. Quite honestly, it wasn't that much of a hot take either. Harris has rare power for a running back his size, just like Derrick Henry in Tennessee does. And he also forced the most missed tackles in the NFL last season on runs and catches combined with 92, according to Pro Football Focus. It's fine to question Harris, as a lot of his statistical production last season was due to volume. And that's sort of where Tucker is coming from. That said... Is it really that much of a hot take to say that Najee Harris isn't a top five running back or won't ever be? Quite honestly, I don't think that it is. Personally, and again, just my personal rankings, I don't have Harris in my top five right now. He's very firmly in the top 10 when everyone's healthy. He's a very good running back, a special talent. Don't get me wrong. But him not being in my top five at the position has more to do with talent that's present at the running back position across the league, more so than it does how I actually feel about Harris. Ahead of his second season, Harris knows he's going to be relied on heavily to produce at a high level once again. The Steelers thankfully got him some help this offseason, adding the likes of Mason Cole and James Daniels in front of him, and bringing in new offensive line coach Pat Meyer, in hopes of rebuilding the Steelers' offensive line, which in turn will give Harris more running room to produce. The plan is to run the wheels off of Harris once again in the Steel City, and that's alright with me, for the most part. The Steelers need to address depth behind him, but that's a topic for another discussion. Back to Tucker, though. Top 5, special talent, whatever it may be. Harris is exactly who everyone thought he was going to be coming out of Alabama. A powerful running back who will wear down opposing defenses throughout games, but won't provide much splash. That's who he was in college. That's who he was in the NFL last year with the Steelers. That's what Pittsburgh wants at the position right now. That's not everyone's cup of tea at the position, especially Tucker's. But his style in the Steelers' philosophy moving forward is a winning one. Someone's arbitrary positional rankings be damned. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out the Terrible Podcast with Alex Kazora and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.